So in the last YouTube, we go through to explain why it is so important to develop this part of the body. And also we zoom in to the details of how to develop this part of the body and why it is important with the six core element, namely the physical element and the mind element. So today we want to continue on with the <coughs> six core element to zoom in into the details so that you be able to know even though it is just this part of the body there are so many details there now today we are going to progress into the breathing element of the six core element now if we look at this part of development <clears throat> in terms of the breathing element we know that the handle of this lower abs the uh, buttocks the thigh and the core is actually uh, influencing the functions or the operations of the pubic floor muscle and the uh, diaphragm. So a proper handling of the, 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 the lower abs, the butt, the thigh, the hip, so forth, is actually influencing this pubic floor muscles and the uh, the the the, the <clears throat> diaphragms operation here and that influence the deep lower abs breathing okay so if we don't know how to handle this 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 uh, physical of the the the, the low abs uh, contractions the the uh, the the buttocks handling the thigh handling we really do not have a handle on this low abs breathing and the proper handling of the uh, pubic floor muscle and the diaphragm. And that will cause many problems where people are breathing wrongly because uh, their body, their pelvic floor muscle, their diaphragm uh, is simply uh, going off to different directions. And that for long term can actually cause problem with their internal organs and their health. So in Qigong, in the Chinese Qigong, it is very important to have this, this, this proper handling of this breathing via all this muscle handling and so forth as we have mentioned. Okay. Otherwise, you will not have a proper uh, lower abs breathing, natural lower abs breathing. Not to mention that now you are dealing with also the the uh, the uh, intra abdominal pressure here and the chest pressure here. So, as in martial arts, you need to handle, be able to handle this intra-abdominal pressure to handle your core or taking strike or taking impact. So that's why, again, why is this handling so important in terms of the breathing? Now, going on top of the breathing is the qi element. 
in the qi element for qi to travel sing to dantian qi over here mean energy the real deal for qi to sing down to dantian one need to have a proper handling here the same your 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 low abs handling your your butt handling your thigh all this muscle handling why because the chi sing to dantian the energy sing to dantian is at that time that uh, at exhale there is a differences between the intra-abdominal pressure and the the chest cavity pressure so this is your thoracic pressure and your intra-abdominal pressure they have a differences a difference a potential difference okay so that lead to the chi travel from the chest down into Tantian. This is energy. Okay. So again, when we say Sing Chi to Tantian, one thing is about the proper lower abs breathing, as we just go through that in the uh, breathing element. You be able to handle this all everything here so that your diaphragm and uh, pelvic floor muscle can align properly you can uh, breathe naturally deep that is the sing chi to tan tian in terms of breathing now with that sing chi to tan tian which, which you can handle the proper breathing with the proper handling of this when you get into the energy How it works is because at inhale and exhale, your uh, intra-abdominal pressure have a different pressure with, the, uh, with the, the, the chest cavity pressure here. And it is that which lead the energy or it is uh, so as a warm sensations moving down to the Tantian part. Okay, so that's the reason why all this thing handling is very important, is critical. And if anybody, uh, uh, when they talk about uh, internal training, internal martial art, qi gong and qi, if they do not have that training, they would not be able to show that they can breathe properly and be able to handle all this properly that means they don't really have that because it is known well known the details that you want the chi sing to the tantian the energy sing to the tantian you have to be able to manage the intra-abdominal pressure and your chest or thoracic pressure because of the potential difference there, that chi sing down. Okay, it is well known thing. In nineteen uh, seventies, nineteen eighties, they know it already. The real top qi gong master who have already passed away, like a uh, grandmaster Ma Li Tang, they do uh, using the scientific. Uh, physiology anatomy to explain how is this thing happen in qigong in internal training okay so there's again why it is so important why i encourage people to use this because you want to have a proper handling of this thing or else all bets off it is not about metal physics, philosophy, who is my teacher. Can you do it? Can you create that potential difference between the 
or the pressure difference between your uh, intra-abdominal and your chest if you want to sing Qi to Dan Tian. In Wing Chun, the fifth stanza or the fifth kit of uh, the, uh, the, the Xiu Lim Tao kit 1850 say that that's about the Sing Qi to Dan Tian. Okay. Uh, it's, it's saying that meeting in the Dan Tian, they do meridian sing. So all of this between the first quid and the fifth quid or the first uh, to the fifth writing, you have so many details. I just share with you that uh, in the, 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 the last video, the YouTube and today on this thing. If you cannot handle that, you do not develop it. To the worst, if you do not handle that properly, you screw up the uh, pubic floor and the the the, the uh, diaphragm handling. Your breathing is not going to be proper or be able to sing chi to dan tian. And if you use wrong pressure, you're going to cause hernia and all kinds of stuff, including high blood pressure and all kinds of stuff. If you pressurize your chest so that's why i never like people to do this kind of thing you can see that all those people who do this kind of stand in wing chun this kind of stands okay or uh, straighten their spine and all those kind of stand all their breathing is here who is going to guarantee that that not causing the the, 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 the chest, the intra chest pressure to go high. So if, if that go high, you don't understand what happened, it's going to cause problem in the long run. Okay, or even short run if you have already have precondition in your body, blood pressure and so forth, so forth, right? So, so this thing is not uh, for fun, this is the professional stuff. And I want to share with you, i whining here, is because you don't mess around with this breathing intra-abdominal pressure and the chi flow stuff. If you don't have all this training, you brute force it, or you try to train it without you knowing what you're doing. That's what the ancient Chinese say it is the internal uh, damage. In Mandarin, say Nei Sang. We don't want to go there, okay? And that's why I choose to tell you what all I know. Because there's no point to screw other people, okay? Now, boost it up to the, you have the uh, physical mind element, breathing element, and the chi element. Now, go to the top is the force flow element. It's very simple. To handling the entire body's strength, you need to be able to handle this part your clamping of your butt, your uh, contract of your lower abs, your thigh, your core, your buttocks muscle, your inner thigh muscle, your thigh muscle. So, when you face an opponent, this close, he's going to uh, apply pressure to you, right? How are you going to play with that pressure? You see that? I need that part of the body to play that, pre that, that pressure or the strength handling so that I be able to handle that pressure. That pressure can be here, can be here. 
right? Same thing I need to be able to handle. And it can be here, it can be here. When people like try to take you down, it can be here. 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 With this, you know, if you don't have handle of this part, you have no way to play this close. You, you really don't have any way to play this close. So again, what is going to train to help you on that? That force flow handling? What, what is going to help you to train this thing? What, what is going to help you for all this dynamic stuff in all your body? It doesn't. That is the reality. So there is the force flow. And on top of the sixth column, which is the momentum, right? So when you when you get a, a launch a momentum handling. Or is this again? Right? Or is this part? Or how you handle all these joints? So with the previous YouTube, I share with you the handling of this part, why it is so important, what is uh, in there in terms of physical mind breathing chi or energy flow strength or the force flow and momentum if you don't have this training you don't have the kung fu so how are you going to expect a Lim tao practice this way with your upper part of body, or practice this way, this way, or this way, where this entire thing, there's no handling at all. This is what Wing Chun have to face. This is we know today since 1870, when they designed today's the Xiu Tao sets, they don't have this technology. Okay. Now, finally, I want to share with you. People always say in Wing Chun, you have to train your Yu Ma, your waist, you and Ma, your horse. Yuma, oh, Yuma, all oh, this thing, Yuma. And then say, oh, the force coming up from ground, like Chong Tai Hei. Then they say, why well, in my Cham Q, I have to be uh, Yuma, like Chong Tai Hei, and uh, Xiuling Tao, everything. Chinese term is called Yuma, it's called like Chong Tai Hei. But you know, do you know that? The Yuma and Lik Chung Tei Hei is exactly what I share with you from the previous YouTube and this YouTube explaining this entire thing in terms of the six core element. 
that is called you ma waste and your horse that's what it is so we cannot keep in talking about you ma you ma you ma and then everybody have their 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 interpretations or their lineage interpretations sorry it doesn't work that way from very basic of this it linked to the it linked to the entire six core element human is just human within human there are six core element there so if you really have the handling development of your yuma then you have to be able to do what I just shared with you. But look around today. Somebody get Tai Chi into Wing Chun, calling it internal. You look at them. They don't even know how to breathe because they don't have that handling. Not to mention as the other day in my other vi uh, video, I say that I show what Tang Hao in 1930 say the Tai Chi guy keeping talking about breathing but when asking what is the breathing people cannot answer what it is so that's a Tang Hao time it's in the book it's not say by Hendrik Santo it is in the book I share with you the other day right recorded there so Let's not get into the Tai Chi internal. I have internal Wing Chun. I have all this thing. If you couldn't even handle the Yuma, as I shared with you just now in this basic six core element analysis, you don't have anything. Don't kid ourselves. Why? If we look at 1850, The Wing Chun, anti Ching Wing Chun, is with the Hong Sing Chui Lei Fai, supporting that uh, uprising, anti Ching uprising. Because we all uh, belong to the, like in America, the Chinese Freemason. Do you know that? The Hong Sing Chui Lei Fa have a set of trained this Yu Ma. It's called Mm Lun Ma. Five field horse set. They train this part. Five wheel horse. Go look at it. How they train and their breathings and how they, they, they exert strength in their body. Hong Sing Chui Lei Fa. On the other way, on the on the other hand, you look at Kyokshin, their Ibuki, their Tensho, they train that part. So in their Tensho set, in their Sanjin set, they train that part. So you look at our brother art, brother sister art in the anti Qing, eighteen fifty Hong Seng Chui Lei Fat, they have that Mulun Ma. Five wheel horse training. This training. The Kyokshin today, you look at that. You want to be in part in the same level with Hong Sing Choi Lei Fat and the the, uh, the, 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 the the Kyokshin. You better have that content. It's not keeping talking. I have internal, uh, I have uh, lineage, I have authentic. Mine is who, who, who. The king of Wing Chun is my father or whatever. You couldn't even handle this. What good is who is your father? So this is what I like to share with you with the previous YouTube. It's my duty to tell you what is going on. 
Why? Why do we settle for less? We have the same level of technology like our brother Hong Sing Choi Le Fat as Kyokushin. Why do we want to settle for less and you keeping doing it like the movie, standing there like this, practicing set? You, you expect that to be able to function properly? And then you say, well, Tai Chi this, Tai Chi that. It's time for heaven's sake to drop the Tai Chi, Tai Chi stuff. Those are toxic stuff. 